Hi, my name is Francisco and welcome to another video of the Marketing Research Series. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the difference between cross-sectional and longitudinal studies. So first of all, let's begin with uh, cross-sectional studies because they're very popular in marketing. Cross-sectional studies, they're essentially one where you have a single data collection point. Uh, it's like a, a single snapshot. So imagine that you're having a company meeting and then your boss says, oh, we're not sure exactly um, what consumers think about our brand. Let's do a quick study on our brand perception. And then they go and collect one single sample uh, from the population of consumers and then they measure that and that's it. So it's, um, it's quick, easy and fast. It's one snapshot, only one single data collection point. The advantage of cross-sectional studies as I mentioned before, is that um, it's fast to implement. Um, it gives you a quick overview of what consumers are thinking. But the main limitation it is, is that it won't tell you the general pattern. And depending when you conduct this cross-sectional study, it can be really misleading. So for example, there are a number of products and services that there are very, um, that the perception or behavior of consumers towards these is very dependent on the weather or on the season and so on. For example, imagine that you have a coffee producer now the coffee doesn't taste exactly the same for consumers in the winter or in the fall when it's cozy and compared to a really hot summer week. So if you were to do a study measuring the perception, a cross-sectional study measuring the perception of consumers in a really hot sunny day, it's not going to be exact same results in, in terms of perception uh, if you compare it to a cozy you know, a day in the fall or in the winter. So the perception is going to be really different. So if you do one snapshot only, um, it can be really misleading. And there are a number of other products that the same thing would apply. Um, for example, all of the winter products, so jackets, boots, and so on. Um, ice cream would be the same for summer, or beer would be the same for summer. Uh, you can have a number of other factors, such as uh, if you measure the, the, the perception of country of origin of a product, and if that country at the moment is going through a political issue or a cultural issue or a social issue, all of those other issues will affect the way that you see the product or the perception of country of origin. So Cross-sectional studies, they're really useful because they're practical, quick and easy, but you have to be really careful because depending on the context, it can be really misleading. On the other hand, longitudinal studies are studies in which you have multiple data collection points. So the main difference between cross-sectional and longitudinal is that longitudinal will allow you to have this overview because you have multiple data collection periods or multiple data collection points uh, from the same or from different sample from that population. So when you have the same sample from that population, that's what is called a true panel. So a true panel is when you collect multiple data from the same people, from the same participants, the same sample from that population. When you have different people, that's what is called an omnibus panel. So let's discuss real quickly the differences between a true panel and an omnibus panel. For the true panels, when you have the same people, that is ideally the most suitable in the majority of, of, um, of cases because you have the exact same participants. So imagine that you have a hotel and uh, you have your loyal um, guests, if, for example, if they are business travelers. If they've stayed in your hotel multiple times, they're going to know exactly if the quality of the breakfast has dropped, if the um, quality of service has increased, because they've seen it multiple times. The problem with Trupano is that, as you can imagine, participants don't really enjoy to be um, disturbed or bothered so, so many times answering the studies. So uh, you gotta make sure that you give them a great reward. So this can be discounts or, excuse me, additional products or additional services or something that's going to motivate uh, them to participate. And this obviously can be a limitation because if you're giving them rewards that are great, um, they might feel inclined to respond positively because you're giving them something good in return. So there's a, a bit of a trade-off there with True Panel once again, which is a longitudinal, a type of longitudinal studies, which is when you have multiple data collection points and you have the exact same people in each data collection point. The other form of longitudinal studies are omnibus panel. An omnibus panel is when you have different people in each data collection stage 
and therefore this is the most common one in marketing for of longitudinal studies so when you want to measure for example the perception of products attitude towards brands risk perception purchase intention all of these common factors that are often measured in marketing and if you want to measure that multiple times to know um, what are the general attitudes of consumers towards my brand or towards my product and you measure this five ten times a year or you measure this throughout 10 years or you measure that throughout 15 years of course it's very unlikely that you're going to have the exact same people so that you're going to have different people in each data collection stage so to sum up cross-sectional studies when there's a snapshot only only collecting data at one point in time longitudinal studies when you have multiple data collection points when you have the exact same participants we often call that a true panel when you have different people in each data collection point that is an omnibus panel just a quick comparison if you're trying to understand the changes uh, that are happening you know overall the cross-sectional is not going to tell you that because it's, you're only looking at one snapshot the longitudinal study will give you this overview because you can see the changes that are happening um, when you compare all of these multiple data collection points. So my friend, on a nutshell, this is the difference between cross-sectional studies and longitudinal studies. Don't forget here in the description, there's a lot of, of um, further content that can help you with marketing research. In case you're writing your thesis, there's also additional content. In case you need some help with statistics, there's also some material there that I've written for my students that might be helpful for you as well. And yeah, to finish up, um, subscribe to the channel if you feel so inclined. Um, yeah, all the absolute best. Take care and bye-bye.